Okay, in this lab I'm going to show you how to set up the uh, Nessus scanner uh, from, if you go to www.nessus.org, you'll go come to their website, it looks like this, right, and they have all kinds of um, products. So what you'll do is you'll click on products, and you're interested in the Nessus scanner, so I'll just click on Nessus scanner, and wait for that to come up. Okay, the scanner is right here, and when you have that up, what you want to do is then click on um, download. So right here, you click on download, and you're going to have to sign the download agreement. Click agree, and once you do that, it'll take you to a download page, which looks like this, and you'll need to select your operating system. As you can see, it runs on Windows, Mac, Linux. Um, so I downloaded the 64-bit version here. It's an MSI installer and downloaded it to my desktop and then I installed it. And when you install it, installs here in my programs, you'll see that under Tenable Network Security, under Nessus 64, there's the server manager which you're going to want to start up first and it looks like this. To start it up, you're going to need an activation code which you can get and they'll send you an email and then you pick up the activation code input the activation code and then you can start up the server right I've decided not to start the server when Windows boots because I'm just going to use it intermittently so I've got that unchecked I've managed users here I've set up some extra users you can set up some extra users for yourself right and just type test user and then type in a password and type it in again, make them an administrator maybe, and hit save, and now you've got an extra user, right? Then you get the server started, you start the server, and then you can interface with the server from a, um, from a web browser. So using the web browser here, I've got, um, you can see here that I've got the web browser open. So once you have the um, up and running, the server up and running. You'll open the web browser to connect to, and you'll have to put in your username and password to connect. See, I'll show you when you log out. So basically, I go here to start all programs, tenable network security. I can go here, and then you open up the client right here, and it opens it up in this browser window. Then you can type in a username and password and log in. Okay. Um, once again this is a home version. You can see I've done some sample tests right here and the first thing I want you to do is I want you to scan a client on your network. So that's going to be the project is to run a Nessus scan on a client on your network. So you can see I've tried to run some test scans here and it's a really useful tool for seeing um, testing some clients on your network that may have vulnerabilities. So I want to scan another user on my network, but if I don't have multiple computers on my network, what I can do is I've opened up VirtualBox here, and I've got a Windows XP virtual machine, and I've selected it. I've gone to Machine Settings, and I've changed the network adapter. I've turned off this network adapter and on adapter 2 I've enabled it and made it a bridged network adapter, right? And now I'm just going to fire up this um, virtual machine and then what I'll try to do is, is I'll scan it using my Nessus scanner. I'll scan this virtual XP client and I thought that would be a good idea to do. So you could also just scan another client on your network. Okay, so here's my virtual box client, and I'm just going to figure out what the IP address is that this virtual client picked up here. So I'll just do an IP config, and okay, Ethernet adapter connection 2 looks like 192.168.1.123. Okay, so this, this client is 1.123, so I will hit the right control key to get out of there 
And so I've got this virtual client. I'll just kind of drag him off screen a little bit. All right. And I'll minimize this window. So I've got that client running. So now what we can do is using Nessus, once you're logged in to um, the web browser interface for your Nessus tool, what we're going to do is we want to scan. Um, so let's see here. Uh, reports. I'm going to go to scans. I'm going to add a scan and I'll call it test3. Run now. And I'm going to run an internal network scan, let's say, and select the targets 192.168.1.1.1. Let's just double check that. Yep, that's the IP address. Okay, 1.123. And I'm going to set up a targets file here. So I've set up a text file. I'm not exactly sure how this functions, but I'm going to browse. I've set up a text file as a targets file. I don't even know if that's working or not. Um, Nessus scan.txt. Okay. I don't think that's necessarily working correctly, but that's all right. And then what I'll do is I will launch the scan. So now, once you launch the scan, you can see here that it's the status, it's working, right? And it'll take a few minutes. The scan was successfully launched. Um, and you can see that it's launched, you know, the pause button, the stop button. I could pause it. I could stop it. I can also browse to see the progress. If I click on Browse, you'll see that, um, that it found the host. And here's the progress. And it can show you, uh, you know, how many vulnerabilities it's found, how many open ports it's found. So it's found already 12 vulnerabilities, low um, low vulnerabilities, low importance vulnerabilities, one medium, and nine high, right, on just this default Windows XP installation. So it's found quite a few vulnerabilities. And at the end, it's going to give me a full report, which I can um, download to my computer or I can view in a web browser. So I'll, as this, when this gets a little bit closer to finished, oh, there it goes, complete, perfect. Okay, so that's done. So now what I can do is, let me drag this up a little bit, is I'll go to reports, right? Test three completed. And I can, let's see here, download report. And download format, I can download it as a .nessus file, uh, a detailed HTML report, or I could uh, download it as an RTF file or an HTML. So if you just hit detailed HTML report and hit submit and then hit continue to this website, it's going to give you a full report of all of the problems that it found on that client. And so I'll drag this up a little bit and it'll tell you um, all the types of uh, vulnerabilities that it found and um, let's see here it tells you the risk factor so let's see here I'll scroll down here um, port CIFS 445 TCP vulnerability and gives you a description of what the vulnerability is a solution for it and risk factor, critical, right? Critical risk factor. So tons of um, information that you can find once you've run a successful scan. It's really cool. So that's it. So that's the Nessus scanner. There's obviously a lot more you can do with it. This is just a quick um, start for how you could possibly use it.